I will be sharing to you the updates or the recent updates on Rotorac policy. And you have to be excited because a lot of good things are going to happen for you and the, the rest of the Rotaractors, not only in the Philippines, but all over the world. So let's start. Kung matatandaan ninyo, it was in 2019 nung inilabas ang enactment 1972. And sinasabi nga dito na isa sa mga bagong um, policy updates ng Rotary International with regards to Rotaract is that we are now considered as a unique membership type within Rotary International. And after this landmark decision, President Mark Maloney, who's the president now of Rotary International, appointed a group of Rotarians and Rotaractors to put up or to start the Elevate Rotaract Task Force. Dito nag-recommend the mga updates na to the policies of RI to better reflect Rotaract's newly ele elevated status. So, sobrang naging exciting to for the Philippines as well because I was given a chance to represent our country and to be invited to be part of this Elevate Rotaract Task Force. Aside from the Elevate Rotaract Task Force, this year as well, um, nagsimula na ding tawagin ang Rotaract Committee as a separate committee kumpara sa Interact and Rotaract Committee in the previous years. So, dun pa lamang makikita na natin ang pagbabago sa treatment ng RI with Rotaract as a program Oh, sorry, not just a program, but a, a new membership type in Rotary International. So, in this um, group of people, marami dito ang mga former Rotaractors, kasama na dyan ang RI Vice President during that time na si Yinka Babalona. He was a former Rotaractor and imagine that he is now the Vice President of Rotary International. Lapakalaking um inspiration niya for Rotaractors all over the world. Aside from him, of course, this task force was headed by RI President, former RI President Barry Rasin, who's really a champion in, in terms of Rotaract um, uh, programs. And uh, siyempre nandyan din si RI Director Rafi Garcia from the Philippines, and I am very fortunate and blessed to be part of this group together with the other Rotarians and Rotaractors from different parts of the world. So, Ano ba yung mga key changes sa Rotary International Policy with regards to Rotaract? This will start effective this coming Rotary year, July 1st, 2020. Iisa-isahin natin at ipapaliwanag natin sa inyo, mga mahal kong Rotaractors. The first among the changes is this. As I mentioned earlier, we are now a membership type in Rotary International. In the Rotary Code of Policy, sinasabi dyan sa Chapter 2 na ang clubs will we have an updated Article 12 titled Rotaract Clubs. Dahil dati, ang Rotaract was part of Chapter 5 under Programs. Sinasabi dito na tatanggalin na siya under Programs and by July 20, 2020, ang Rotaract will be regarded as a member of Rotary International and not just a program of RI. Sana malinaw sa ating lahat yun na um, hindi na tayo basta lamang um, program under Rotary no, as partners in service but we are still partners of service pero as a membership type in Rotary. Malaking malaking pagkakaiba yan compare sa nakasanayang nating um, katayuan or estado ng mga Rotaractors in the Rotary world. So that's the first one. Number two, pinapayagan na na ang Rotary Clubs ay makapag-establish ng mga new clubs with or without a sponsor. I would like to repeat that. We can now put up or start a Rotary Club with or without a sponsor. Anong ibig sabihin nito? If there are young professionals who are interested in putting up a Rotary Club and tingin nila handa naman sila, pwede na silang magsimula ng kanilang Rotary Club kahit walang sponsorship ng isang Rotary Club. Another thing is that Rotaract Clubs can sponsor a Rotaract Club. Nakuha niyo yun? So halimbawa, ang Rotaract Club of Makati ay interesadong mag-put up ng isang Rotaract Club na school base. Pwedeng-pwede na ang Rotaract Makati na magtayo ng sarili niyang Rotaract Club. Pwede din na tatlong Rotaract Clubs ang maghahati-hati to sponsor another Rotaract Club. 
hindi pa maruno, hindi pa malinaw rather sa RI kung pwede bang halimbawa Rotary Club of Makati tas Rotarak ng Makati tas isa pang Rotarak Club magpo-put up ng another Rotarak Club. Hindi ko alam kung pwedeng kombinasyon pero with the great a greater flexibility of this particular policy, tingin ko mas maraming mga Rotary Clubs ang pwedeng ma-establish ngayon sa tulong hindi lamang ng mga Rotary Club partners natin but as well as the big clubs in our district na pwedeng-pwedeng mag-sponsor at mag-mentor ng mga bagong Rotary Clubs. This will give us um, an opportunity to do collaboration and to practice teamwork at the same time kasi mas marami na tayong ma-reach out na mga Rotary clubs at the same time mga youth sectors around our district. So that's the second one. Ano naman yung pangatlo? So aside from the usual um, knowledge natin na ang Rotary club ay para sa mga at least 18 years old, ang Rotary club may but not required to set an age limit. Okay, eto yung isa sa mga pinag-usapan. Tinanggal na yung age limit na 30 years old para sa mga Rotaractors. Ibig sabihin, kung beyond 30 years old ka na and you feel that you still want to serve under the Rotaract program or Rotaract as a membership type in Rotary, pwedeng pwede ka pang mag-serve. Pero, ang sinasabi dito, if you want this to happen in your respective clubs, titignan ninyo kung ito ba ay in accordance with your bylaws. So, ibig sabihin, kung gusto nyong baguhin ang policy ng inyong um, club in terms of membership age, pwedeng-pwede nyong gawin yan. Basta may approval ng lahat ng mga miyembro and if applicable sa inyong sponsoring Rotary Club. So, another way of practicing flexibility among clubs. This can also help you attract more people to join in your club. Marami sa atin na mga former Rotaractors ang napilitan na umalis ng Rotary dahil inabot nila yung 30 years old na age um, limit. Pero ngayon, with this, sigurado ko na marami sa inyo ang tatanda na sa Rotary. Pero sana, um, ang, goal pa rin ng, ang goal pa rin ng Rotary is for you to transition from Rotary to Rotary once you're ready. So, ibig sabihin, inaanyayahan pa rin kayo na maging mga members ng Rotary Club pagkatapos ng Rotary Club provided na na-enjoy nyo na fully yung inyong pagiging member ng Rotary at ready na kayo to a bigger membership type which is Rotary. Next, number four. Sa pang-apat naman, sinasabi that Rotary districts are encouraged to include Rotaractors in every district committee. I want to put stress on this, especially if there are Rotarians who are serving the district or Rotarians who are present in this particular session, not to consider this new policy or change in the Rotary policy in terms of Rotaractors being part of the district committee. Sinasabi dito na ang Rotary District Governor are strongly encouraged to appoint Rotaractors to every district committee. So, hindi lang siya tungkol sa um, Rotaract or pagiging D D D DRC, for example, District Rotaract Chair, kung hindi sa iba pang mga committees sa Rotary International or sa Rotary District na sa tingin ninyo, maaring mag-participate at makatulong ang mga Rotaractors. Bakit? Rotary International... International believes in the capacity of our Rotaractors. They recognize the contribution that we are making in the organization and tingin ko it's about time that we inject new blood in Rotary International in terms of the district committee. Um, I have to be honest with you, when I attended this um, Rotaract Committee or and the Rotaract Task the Elevate Rotaract Task Force, isa sa mga pinag-usapan dito ay ang patuloy na pagtanda ng mga members ng Rotary International or ng mga Rotary Clubs all over the world. And they see the need of um, making sure that the young generation, Rotaractors to be particular, are encouraged to join the district committee for them to contribute kung paano natin higit na mapapabuti ang servisyong ginagawa natin as an organization. So please, to the Rotarians who are watching, the district officers of Rotary District, um, include our Rotaractors in your committee. This is a great opportunity for you to mentor them and to teach them on how to be Rotarized. Hindi po ba? So that's number four. Let's go to number five. There are several goals for Rotaract 
no according to Rotor International, ito yung pinaka-challenge sa atin, mga Rotaractors. Number one is to increase the number of Rotaractors reported to Rotary by 100% in year 2022. Increase the number of report, reported Rotaractors who joined Rotary Clubs by 20% in 2022. And the last one is to increase the number of reported Rotaractors to 1 million by 20. 29. We have a lot of time to prepare for this. Pero come 2022, dapat 20% ng mga Rotaractors ay mag-join sa Rotary Clubs. That's a big challenge. And 100% by 2022, ang mga reported number of Rotaractors na dapat nag-increase. Tatlong mga goals na very challenging. But personally speaking, these are realistic goals that we can work as a district or as a country um, with the help of the MBIO and the, all, all the DRRs for this year ito yung unahin natin sa mga priori priority natin let's list down all the members let's cleanse if ever kung kinakailangan talaga alamin natin ilan ba talaga ang Rotaractors una sa ating clubs pangalawa i-report ito sa district district Rotaract district officers please make sure that this Rotaractors are really legit members of your club para ma-report natin lahat sa RI. Bakit? Dadalhin ko kayo dun sa susunod na punto. That's number six. Dahil by 2022, July 2022, Rotaract clubs will begin to pay their membership dues. Handa na ba kayo? Sinasabi dito na by 2022, the annual juice will be $5 or around 250 pesos every year para sa mga school-based or university-based clubs. At $8 naman para sa mga members ng community-based clubs. Okay, maraming mga reactions ang nakuha natin dito for the past two years or last year lalong lalo na. Kapag nangyari ito, yung $50 na one-time payment in chartering a club, mawawala na. Tapos, lahat ng mga members kinakailangan na magbayad ng either $5 or $8. The question is, so paano naman po yung mga community-based clubs na sobrang laki or lalong-lalo na ngayong mga university or school-based clubs na libo-libo ang mga members? Precisely yun yung point ko dun sa number 5. You really need to check the quality of your members. List all your members na sa tingin ninyo ay talagang members ninyo. Hindi ko sinasabing magtanggal kayo, pero ang sinasabi ko ay i-register ninyo ang mga club members ninyo na sa tingin nyo may kapasidad ng makapagbayad. So Kuya Chok, tatanggalin na ba namin ibang mga members? Hindi nga eh. You list them down as volunteers. Okay, you still have the list. Pero sana magkaroon ng punto na magta-transition sila, transition sila to become full Pledge members who are reported to RI. So, tanong, bakit ako magbabayad ng ganito kalaking halaga? To be honest with you, after getting this result no, out of the survey done by Rotary International, kasi hindi naman siya bigla-bigla lamang eh. I remember some two years ago, ang mga pinag-uusapang membership ay umaabot sa $30, $20, $10. Pero pagkatapos ng lahat ng survey sa buong mundo, lumabas ang average amount na $5 and $8. And sa tingin ko naman, kung kukumpitin natin halimbawa ang $5 na 250, around 250 pesos, we try to compute. Sa loob ng isang taon, magkano natin mababayaran ang 250 pesos? So, sa Rotary membership, ang ginagawa namin ay nagbabayad kami every July and January. Hindi ko alam kung sa Rotaract, ganun din ang gagawin. Pag ganun ang gagawin, magiging madali ito para sa atin. So, ang ginagawa namin, halimbawa sa Rotary Club namin, instead of magbabayad kami ng every July at every January, hinahati namin siya sa apat. So, nagiging mas magaan ang pagbayad. Imagine, 250 pesos, hahatiin natin sa apat, kayo nang mag-compute, magiging madali ang pagbayad ng ating membership fee. Ang kailangan lang natin is to prioritize. Bakit ba mahalagang magbayad ng membership fee ang mga Rotaractors? Later, sa next topic natin, pag-uusapan natin kung saan mapupunta ang mga contributions na ito. Pero sa kalaman ng lahat, in membership fee alone, marami na mga programa 
ang nakalatag para sa mga Rotaractors. This will enhance the quality of service given to us by Rotary International. Isa na dyan ang sa Toastmasters na training for leadership. Number two, you will have more access to the Rotary portal in terms of um, putting your club members, your projects, etc. and so on. At marami pang mga bagong updates na mga services na ibibigay sa inyo come Jan, July 2022. So, ngayong taon, Rotary Year 2020-2021, ihanda na natin ang ating mga clubs para sa kaganapang ito in year 2022. Let's go to number 7. So, for number 7, na tutuloy natin sa next topic natin, sinasabi dito that the revised Rotaract Club Bylaws Article 4 sinasabi that Foundation Committee was added as part of the Standing Committee in Rotaract Club. Kung maaalala ninyo, hindi lang siya um, international service, professional service, community service, finance, club, and foundation. Dati lima lang. Ngayon, <coughs> excuse me, six na ang ating mga committees for Rotaract. Bakit kailangan natin ng Foundation Committee? Let me jump to the second topic and that is the Rotary Foundation. So at this point, let me give you a little background or a brief history of the Rotary Foundation. The Foundation was created by Rotary International's sixth president and he is Arch Clam. Um, when he was the president of Rotary International, in 1917, he started this as an endowment fund for Rotary to do good in the world. Um, it has grown for an initial contribution of $26.50 to more than $1 billion. And it has one of the largest and most prestigious international fellowship programs in the world. Um, it was also said that at, um, this particular um, foundation become one of the world's leading humanitarian foundations all over the world. The Rotary Foundation is a non-profit corporation that supports the efforts of Rotary International to achieve world understanding and peace through international humanitarian, educational, and cultural exchange programs. Um, this particular foundation um, supported solely by voluntary contributions from Rotarians and friends, including Rotaractors today, of the foundation who serves or who share its vision for a better world. This support is essential to make possible projects funded with foundation grants that bring sustainable improvement to communities in need. All over the world, you are seeing a lot of projects um, done by the Rotary Foundation. So maybe the next question is, um, ano ba talaga ang ginagawa ng Rotary Foundation? Isa-isahin natin to, okay? Rotary Foundation is regarded as the steward of our funds. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? When we say steward of funds or stewardship in general, it is an ethic that embodies the responsible planning and management of resources. Ang ginagawa ni Rotary International is to ensure that their contributions do good in the world. Stewardship begins with the receipt of the contribution and continues through payment and use of funds. The Rotary Foundation is the one taking care of all the donations not to Rotary and then hanggang sa ito ay magamit na para sa mga projects. So silang humahaw ng pera, nag-aalaga ng pera at nagsisigurado na ang mga perang ito ay napupunta sa mga projects na nakalista dyan sa baba. Okay? So, the next question is, Paano kaya tayo makaka-contribute sa Rotary Foundation? Rotarians and Rotaractors contributing to the Rotary Foundation. There are several ways your financial support can help you know, in supporting worldwide efforts to eradicate polio, for example, promote peace, improve developing communities, and a lot of projects to do good in the world. There are a number of ways that you can um, designate your support. Pwede kayong mamili sa iba't ibang avenues na iisa-isahin natin that is divided into two. The first one is what we call the annual fund or share. So, the annual fund of share in this particular um, way of giving, meron ditong tinatawag na every Rotarian every year or e -ray. Definitely, 
in the near future, I can see, tingin ko lamang po, my personal opinion, magkakaroon ng every rotor actor every year. Feeling ko, yan na magiging next na, na movement because of the Elevate Rotor Act program. So, in this campaign of E-Ray, the, uh, of the annual fund, um, it promotes Rotarian in making contribution of any amount to the annual fund or share every year. The annual fund is the first step in fueling the Rotary Engine funding um, our programs. So, in the case of E-Ray, for what I remember, you can contribute every year amounting to 25 US dollars per member. Kaya nga siya every Rotarian every year. So every year you are expected or encouraged to contribute at least 25 US dollars. The second one is what we call sustaining members. These are Rotarians that give $100 every year to the foundation through the annual fund and share. So, ang sustaining members sa loob ng isang taon pwedeng mag-contribute every year ng $100. So, ito ay na-accumulate at mapupunta dun sa pangalawang klase ng annual fund and that is Paul Harris Fellow Awards. Ibig sabihin, kapag ikaw ay e -ray, meaning you're giving $25 every year at naiipo nito or ikaw ay sustaining member na nagbibigay ng 100 every year kapag yung amount na naipon mo ay umabot sa 1000 US dollars you will be given this um um recognition as a Paul Harris fellow okay lahat ng mga rotary or rotarians or rotary members na nagco-contribute that accumulate that na nag-accumulate to 1000 dollars um uh in recognize ni RI and most of the time, Rotarians often also contribute under the name of their um, family members or other individuals. Pwede din silang mag-donate and they can transfer the points you know, accrued through their own giving. So, ibig sabihin, if you have really contributed a lot to the foundation, pwede mong bigyan ng points ang ibang mga individual for them to become a Paul Harris Fellow. Itong naging unang experience ko when I was given the Paul Harris Fellow, nagbigay sa akin ang aking sponsoring club ng points para maging Paul Harris ako during that time when I was uh, a young Rotarian. Okay? The next one is what we call the Paul Harris Society members. So, kanina meron tayong e na $25, sustaining members na $100 every year. Sa Paul Harris Society member, kung nakikita nyo itong pin na ito sa baba na may PHS, ang gagawin mo naman dito, if you are really capable and able to give, you can pledge to give $1,000 every year to the foundation through the annual fund, the Polioplast, or an approved Rotary Foundation grant. Pwedeng-pwede din yan. So, paano kuya Chok? Wala akong $25, wala akong $100, wala akong $1,000 na pwedeng maibigay. We are also encouraged to contribute in our own little way using the so-called Rotary Direct. This is a recurring giving program of Rotary International, or sorry, of the Rotary Foundation. Um, have a small amount deducted from your bank account or added to your credit card every month or a quarter or every year. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? As low as $10, you can commit no, to give a uh, contribution to the foundation. Pwede ng, um, sabi dito, monthly, quarterly, or every year. So, depending na talaga sa kakayahan mo. So, ibig sabihin, this, uh, flexible yung giving sa annual fund no, under the Rotary Foundation. So, yan yun. Sana naintindihan ninyo. And if you have questions, um, please, you can DM me. You can ask the Rotarians around you. And definitely, they will give you um, an overview on how you can really give and contribute to the foundation. The next set of ways on how to contribute to the foundation is through endowment fund. The endowment fund. Establish your legacy by ensuring the Rotary Foundation can meet the world's vital needs for generations to come. Anong ibig sabihin ito? If you are a Rotarian and you pledge to contribute under the endowment fund, sinasabi dito, for example, na kapag ikaw ay uh, wag naman sana namatay at meron kang corporation na pagmamayari, in perpetuity, 
you will contribute to the foundation. Ibig sabihin, tuloy-tuloy ang contribution mo sa foundation. Pwede mo itong isulat sa will mo or nakasulat din sa company policy ninyo na kapag nawala ka bilang may-ari, pwede mong ituloy ang iyong contribution sa Rotary Foundation. The next one naman is what we call the Polio Plus. Bakit may plus? Let me explain to you. So, syempre, ang polio is one of our advocacy, yung end polio now advocacy ng Rotary International. We can donate or join activities to help eliminate polio. I see a lot of Rotaractors all over the world who are doing a lot of projects to raise funds to contribute to the Polio Plus of the Rotary International. Pero ano ba yung plus? Noon, it only refers to the additional vaccines administered along with the polio vaccine. But today, it also refers to the fact that the infrastructure, fundraising, and advocacy methods developed for the polio eradication campaign also supports efforts to fight other infectious diseases. So, lumawak na din siya, hindi na lamang polio plus. And you, you all know na we are this close to ending polio. So, marami pa tayong ginagawa aside from the eradication of polio at mga programa ng Rotary Foundation. So, ano ba yung magiging impact ng ating donation sa Rotary Foundation and why do we need to donate? Okay, alam nyo ba na for a little, um, for as little as $1 or 50 pesos, a child can be protected from polio. Okay, or kung meron kayong $50 or around 2,400 pesos, you can provide clean water to help fight waterborne illnesses. No, nasa Pilipinas, talagang nangyayari yan. Or kung meron ka na talagang kapasidad to give $5, hundred dollars or 24,000 pesos, you can launch an anti-bullying campaign and create safe environment for children. Anong gusto nating ipunto dito, my dear Rotor Actors? Gaano man kaliit o kalaki ang kaya nyo i-contribute sa Rotary Foundation, makasisiguro kayo na ang inyong contribution ay mapupunta sa mga proyekto na makakatulong sa mga gusto nyo talagang matulungan. Katulad ng mga kabataan na pinupunta natin sa mga communities, etc. So, how does this work? That's the next question. Kung magkocontribute ako, paano ko masisigurado na yung donation ko ay hindi masasayang at talagang mapupunta? That is the work of the Rotary Foundation bilang steward. No? Dahil natatanggap nilang donation, sinisigurado nila na ang donations natin ay mapupunta sa mga worthwhile projects. So, through our donations, sabi dito, the Rotary Foundation as a steward manages our contribution and make sure, as I mentioned earlier, that it will be spent on sustainable and long-term projects. Remember, Rotaractors, in doing your community projects, you are being encouraged to come up with sustainable and long-term projects. Ito yung ultimate goal ng Rotary Foundation, to make sure that the project will be sustainable at talagang magiging kapakipakinabang sa mga komunidad na tinutulungan natin as an organization. This will support community problems and issues that community members themselves can support even after grant funding ends. That's the goal. Kapag nagbigay tayo ng tulong at sustainable ito, pag umalis na tayo sa komunidad, kaya na nilang ipagpatuloy ang proyekto at matulungan ang kanilang mga sarili. The Rotary Foundation for many years has different types of grants. In 2013, hinati na lamang nila ito to simplify grant models na tinatawag nating Global Grant and District Grant. For many years, merong limang klase ng Rotary Foundation grants, yung 3H or Health, Hunger, Humanity, District Simplified Grant, Matching Grant, Ambassadorial Scholarships, Group Study Exchange programs na naging kasama ko. But this time, starting 2013, dalawang klaseng grants na lang ang meron, Global Grant and District Grant. So, ang tanong, pwede ba kami mag-apply ng Global Grant or District Grants? Yes, clubs can apply for both Global Grants and District Grant. Ang tanong, Kuya Cho, kami mga Rotaractors or Rotara Clubs, pwede na ba? Pag-uusapan niya natin maya-maya lamang, okay? So, under the Global Grant and District Grant projects, kinakailangan yung suportahan ang six areas of focus. And I do hope na natatandaan nyo pa rin ito. Number one, pre preventing disease. Number two, providing clean water. Number three, supporting education. Number four, 
growing local economies. And number five, saving mothers and children. And lastly, promoting peace. Kahit na hindi pa kayo gumagawa or should I say, nabibigyan ng global grant or district grant, I do hope that your projects are aligned with the six areas of focus. Now, eto nga ang tanong, pwede ba kami mag-apply para dyan? Pwedeng pwede na. I suggest that you start talking to your Rotary sponsoring clubs, to the district, on how you can participate in um, getting a global grant or a district grant. At, at present, hindi pa tayo pwede as Rotaractors or Rotaract clubs to directly apply for global grant and district grant. What can, we can do is to partner with our Rotary sponsorship club or should I say Rotary sponsors para magkaroon tayo ng chance on how to go about with the global grant and district grant. Dahil remember, as we mentioned earlier, nandun na tayo sa punto ng pagbabayad sa Rotary Foundation in 2022. And na-foresee ko in the near future, baka sakali na dumating ang pagkakataon kung significant ng contribution natin mga Rotaractors sa Rotary Foundation at sa RI, maari na tayo mabigyan ng pagkakataon na makapag-apply ng sarili nating Global Grant and District Grant. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyong kagandahan ng ating mga contributions dahil lahat ng ito ay bumabalik sa atin. Anong ibig kong sabihin? Konting survey lang. One half of our contribution to the annual fund as a district. Bakit ganon? Paliwanag ko lang ulit mo. Yung mga individual contributions natin na accumulate yan at napupunta yan as a contribution of our club. Lahat ng mga clubs na may contributions, nagiging contribution yan ng district. And then, one half of the total contribution to the annual fund or share, kung natatandaan ninyo, are returned to the district in three years. So, bumabalik sa atin ang ating mga contributions. These funds are called the DDF or the District Designated Funds. Check your district. Talk to your Rotary sponsors or to your district officers and ask about the district designated fund. Hindi ko sinasabing hingin nyo ito. Pero what you can do is to partner with your um, Rotary sponsors and try to see ano mga projects ng Rotary Clubs ang pwedeng mabigyan ng partnership or ng support ng inyong Rotary Club under the district designated fund. Okay? The fund um, is divided to equally to all active clubs in the district and should be used to any club projects that support any of the six areas of focus. Napakaganda. Ang contribution na binigay mo, bumabalik din sa'yo every three years. So imagine that. The next question is, as Rotaractors, ano ang pwede nating magawa? Okay. Rotaract clubs as members of Rotary International are encouraged to donate individually or as a club any amount to the Rotary Foundation. It is important for a club to have a foundation committee that would explain TRF to the club members and would think of ways on how to donate to the foundation. As I mentioned earlier, aside from the other committees in your club, the foundation committee is now added. Dahil una, you need to educate your member kung ano ang the Rotary Foundation at mag-isip ng paraan kung paano makakakontribute. In this picture with me, is John Wico, who is the General Secretary and Chief Executive Officer of the Rotary International and the Rotary Foundation. During our meeting in the Rotary Committee, binabanggit niya na doon pa lang na importante talaga that we start to educate our Rotary actors on what Rotary Foundation is doing to the world. And sana ay ma-encourage natin ang ating mga Rotary actors to contribute. And now, it is happening. There are a lot of Rotary Clubs, or sorry, Rotary Clubs all over the world who are doing contribution. During my visit to the RI headquarters, dalawa sa mga Rotary Clubs in the Philippines were mentioned in the meeting, Rotary Club of Manila and Rotary Club of Chinatown, who are significantly contributing to the Rotary Foundation. I do hope that from your district, you'll be able to hear your club names sa RI level saying na yung mga clubs sa district natin ay nakapagbibigyan na ng contribution sa Rotary Foundation. Okay. For Rotary Actors, your club, sabi dito, may tinatawag tayong Rotary Giving Certificates. So, your club will receive a special certificate signed by the Rotary Foundation Trustee Chairman when at least five members 
Five members can give a total of $50. Mga tig pa 500 kayo, pwede nyong ipunin to in this Rotary year. And then, your club will be given a Rotaract Giving Certificate. Isang recognition na binibigay sa mga Rotaractors for their contribution to the foundation. When your club earns a certificate, your district leaders will also be notified so they are aware that your club has accomplished this particular um, encouragement from the Rotary Foundation. And as we mentioned, no, kaya tayo kinakailangan magtayo ng Club Rotary Foundation Committee. Ano ba ang ginagawa ng committee chair for our club or foundation for our club? Una, help the Rotary Club and your Rotary Club and its president to achieve the goals as a club. List down a specific target or goal to donate to the TRF before the term begins. So, pwede kayo mag-set ng goals. Sa lahat ng mga pinakita kanina, balikan ninyo yung presentation na ito. Tignan ninyo, alin yung attainable for our clubs? Saan kami pwede magbigay? For example, for the Rotary Year 2020-2021, your goal is to donate at least $50 as a club. Discuss among your officers and members on how you can reach the goal by May 2021. So you need to be specific and realistic dun sa amount. Kung gusto nyo at nakikita nyo na, ah, baka pwede tayong kumuha ng $50 sa buong taon na tigli limang members. Or imagine ninyo kung 10 members magbibigay ng $50 each. I mean, tigli lima. So meron kayong $100. Dalawang certificate, malaking contribution, hindi ba? Kung hindi naman kaya, isang target na donation, sa Polio Plus or sa kung saan man sa mga binigay ko sa inyo, it's already an achievement but you have to be realistic. Number two, the Rotary Foundation Committee Chair should help educate and train members about the foundation. Binanggit ko na kato kanina. There are a lot of webinars no, about the TRF na pwede kayong umaten. Pwede kayong gumawa ng mga leaflets or brochures about the TRF or pwede nyong ishare yung video na ito sa inyong mga clubs. And makita nila na ang ating mga uh, yung ating mga members can really do something beyond just being a volunteer of this organization. You can also ask help from your sponsoring Rotary Club to discuss further about the Rotary Foundation. Napaka-importante ng mentoring ngayon. To the Rotarians who are watching or here with us, please make sure or try your best to reach out to your Rotaractors and educate them about the TRF. Kung may mga district activities Um, about the TRF, invite them and ask them to join para makita nila kung paano natin ginagawa ito as Rotarians, as, as a organization under the Rotary Foundation. Okay, number three, encourage your club members to participate in the foundation programs and support the foundation financially. You can create fundraising campaigns that would support polio eradication. This was mentioned earlier. Or pwede din sa any six areas of focus, pro, uh, proceeds can be donated to the Polio Plus or the annual share. As a club, you can do this. Pwede niyong sabihin kung saan niyo dadalhin ang inyong mga contribution, either sa Polio Plus or sa annual share, na pwedeng maipon. Hindi ba? Napakaganda. Number four, communicate the foundation goals of the district to your club members and officers. Inquire about the foundation goals of your district from your DRR, for example. Um, kung hindi naman to included sa DRR citation goals, make sure to inform your club president as and members about it para malinaw lang din sa kanila. Ang malinaw na goals will set um, a sense of direction to everyone para lahat kayo ay sabay-sabay na ma-achieve ang mga ito. And including your contribution to the foundation can be a big Um, challenge pero magandang learning experience din to sa atin and to level up the type of membership that we have in this organization. And lastly, ensure the foundation goals and donation are reported to the club portal. To make this um, official, it's important that you make sure that your foundation goals are listed on the online club goal setting and donations are reported and documented in your club portal. So please, go ahead, talk to the Rotary District Officers, no, to your uh, mother clubs, pag-usapan ninyo paano po kami makakapag-contribute to the foundation and make sure that your name as a club or as an individual member are listed in the portal para makita natin 
kung tumatak po yung donation at tayo ay ma-recognize ng tama ng Rotary International and the Rotary Foundation. With that, my dear Rotaraptors, maybe you will ask, what's next? What's the next step? Anong gagawin natin? <laughs> As you go back to your respective Rotaract clubs, importante that you sit with them and discuss with them lahat ng natutunan nyo in this DTTS, okay? As you do the club action plan, okay? Tignan ninyo ulit yung Rotary priorities, the Rotary core values, and the Rotaract, or the Rotary International goes for Rotaract, and include the Rotary Foundation this time. When you do your five-year club planning, tignan nyo na saan nyo dadalhin yung inyong mga club. Please follow the resources that I will be giving you on how you can improve Rotaract um, programs in your respective clubs and district by looking at the Rotaract Constitution and Bylaws. Kung gusto nyo i-adjust yung membership, pwede. Kung yung mga changes sa Rotary Code of Policies, how can you integrate this in your existing policy as a club or as a district? And then, DRR and Presidents, please make sure that in the strategic planning guide, you include lahat ng binanggit natin dito sa ating discussion na ito. There are four phases of the strategic planning guide and I do hope that you see the importance of including the Elevate Rotaract policy changes, the contribution of the, to the Rotary Foundation, yung membership fee na $5 and $8, baka pwede yun ang pagsimulang pag-usapan yan. You can also do club projects and activities to make sure na masaset nyo yung mga goals nyo at marireach nyo ang mga ito. At kung hindi, you can always go back. No, kasi 5 years naman yung tatargetin ninyo. Eh. Huwag kayong magpaplano na for this term lamang. You go beyond. Dream big dreams. no Talagang set big goals na realistic at kaya nyo abutin at pagtulong-tulungan as a club. And again, go back to your sponsoring Rotary Club for education and for support. Okay? So, with that, I would like to say thank you to everyone. You can contact me anytime, anywhere, para kung 7-Eleven. I'm all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, kay TikTok. Nandun na din si Kuya Cho. So, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo lahat. I just hope and pray that you will continue to do good in the world as we elevate Protara. Maraming maraming salamat. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. God bless you.